Okay, calculate the normal reaction force on this roller coaster, 500 kilograms, at points X and Y. So at this point here, the floor is going to be pushing him up, and weight is going to be pulling him down. Now the weight is going to be bigger than the normal reaction force because the resultant force needs to be towards the center. Um, so we can write an equation here. So we need the equation here will be mg, the bigger number, minus the smaller number, which is the normal reaction force, will equal mv squared of r, the centripetal force. Okay, so the resultant force is down towards center and it's equal to mv squared of r. To get r, we rearrange. So you'll get uh, mg minus mv squared of r. Uh, with, if you do the calculation, you will get 3655 five newtons. Normally, the reaction force and weight should be 4905 newtons if he was just standing still. But he feels slightly less heavy, um, even though his weight has changed, his reaction force is smaller because uh, he's going over this bump and you feel a bit lighter. Okay, at point Y, well, the weight is still downwards and is the same. The normal reaction force, because he's underneath now, it should be pushing him down. It really depends on his speed, but it should be pushing him down. It doesn't really matter if it's bigger than weight or smaller than weight. All we know is they're both in the same direction. So they're going to add up to make the centripetal force. So at the second point, we have mg plus r will equal mv squared of r. So here, if we uh, make r the subject, so you get um, mv squared over r minus mg and you get 1628 newtons. You f again you feel slightly less um, weight um, you, you when you're going o over through the loop um, you feel like you're almost going to fall out of your seat. Um, that's why you feel less weight. Okay, the final question is calculate the minimum speed the roller coaster must be moving at point y. So at point y, if he's going too far, this is the equation at y. If he's going too slowly, he'll lose contact with the track. At that point, r becomes zero. So we can have to ignore r. So you get mg equals mv squared over r. And if we make v the subject, you get root of gr which is 12.13 meters per second so here if he goes too slowly if he goes less than 12.13 meters per second he will lose contact with the track and fall inwards reducing his uh, radius